good morning. And the weatherman was right. I mean, weather person. Yeah, uh, welcome to wet Winnipeg. <laughs> yeah, it's raining outside pretty good. In fact, I can hear it on the roof right now. You probably can't hear it, but I can. Now, we did come back to the model table yesterday. And I did, finally, and, and I, I emphasize finally, got these, these little uh, clevises or whatever they were, or hinges on the bottom of this ladder, which I do believe is supposed to stand perpendicular on the deck somehow. At least from, from the, uh, the drawings I'm getting, it, it stands up. I don't know what supports it. Maybe uh, they're supposed to be... I, I can really see where something like this is going to be easily broken off. Uh, so I'm going to have to, uh, you know, check that out. Maybe we're going to have to brace it somehow once we glue it in place. Just in case I accidentally brush something against it. Because even something as, something as light as the cord running back and forth to the lights of the camera, you know, that, that sort of thing. It'll... Uh, anyway. Now, can you see this? Probably not. Anyway, in order to see how we got to this place, you're going to have to watch the rollback. And in the rollback, I, I got to warn you, uh, I had quite a time getting these, these on. And it's, it's frustrating. It, you know, I get to the place where it looks like it's just right. And then what do I do? I kind of poke at it and try and make it better. And it pops off and it pings here and it pings there. Now, we didn't lose it, fortunately. If it ever went on the floor, I probably would have... I don't know if I could have found it. Well, depends where it landed. If it landed on the plywood, which is directly by, under my chair, yeah, I probably could have found it. But if it ended up in the carpet, which is probably... The, the, the plywood goes to about... Oh, oh, this... About this far under the model table. And if it goes on the other side of the table, which it seems to do that a lot, well, you can kiss it goodbye. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, no, I don't have COVID. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's let's roll back and see how it is we got to this place and and what this is all about, and then then we'll continue on. Okay, we are basically just continuing on from where we left off yesterday. We were we were going to try and fasten these clevises or whatever you want to call them onto the bottom. Well, I guess it would be part of a hinge onto the bottom of this. It's not a ladder, it's something else. And uh, anyway, <clears throat> what I wanted to tell you was that uh, episode... Uh, 1206, or the last one, whatever it was, <clears throat> has just uploaded onto YouTube, and I was I was checking the I was I was checking the uh, uh, proofing it, in other words, and I noticed that I had done something that I have never done before that I know of, and that is I put the same clip in twice. Now. I sort of did it two different ways, but that was not my intention. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I probably could have quickly pulled pulled it off of YouTube, redone it, and had it uploaded again. And, but then it might have been it might have aired late, and, and probably a lot of you never noticed that. Now, I'm thinking that maybe the best way to go with these is to just do them one at a time. Let's, let's just do that. Do it one at a time. Try and press this on here. Get get it into place. Maybe I should be putting the macro lens on. Sort of shove that up in there. Now there's another thought. I'm going to be putting some waxed paper underneath. Maybe I should be doing that first. I, I didn't want it underneath now because what's going to happen is that the light is going to reflect off of the waxed paper and you're not going to be able to see too good. So let me check the monitor. How does that look? 
Oh, that's better better than I thought it was. Well, we'll just leave it there then. The reason being is because when I put the extra thin down, I, I don't want to uh, have it glue itself to the to the green cloth. Okay, so let me get the macro lens on and, and reposition a little bit here. Maybe get a different. I might, maybe I'll swing this around, and get it at a better angle, so I don't have instead of pushing in like this, it, it'd be more a little easier for me if I can push in at an angle like this. Okay, this is actually my second take on this. In the first take, the there was something on the tweezer, and the part was sticking to it. Well, look at that; it still is. I thought I got it off with isopropyl, but maybe I didn't. I am wondering if maybe I should be taking the uh, hobby knife and just trying to widen that that clevis out a bit. Oh, there it's on. Now we just shove it down. Nope, that didn't work. Don't worry, didn't go very far. I know it I know it it looks like I've got it and then I and then I spoil it. There no it's gotta this latter part or whatever it is has to go down into the That's pretty close. I'm wondering if we could put a little bit of... How does that look? No, it's, it's got a... Oh my, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, how would it be... Turn over. I almost have it, and then I try to make it better. And I am going to lose this thing yet. Okay, now let's take a little bit of extra thin on the applicator. I won't try to put a drop on, I'll just, I'll just put a little bit on. Okay. Now that's probably going to be all we're going to need. And, and before I start messing around with this one, I'll wait until this one hardens. At least that's the plan. Okay, I'm guessing about 45 minutes has passed here. And while I was waiting for this glue to evaporate, and I think it has, yeah, it looks like it has, I thought, what am I going to do to kill some time here? So I checked my email, and we got ourselves an email from Tennessee Jim. And Tennessee Jim says that he has has said something to us. Now I think what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to turn this on its side because I'm kind of curious to see. Did it? Did we get it on straight? No, we didn't. It's not straight. Well, let's see if it's still soft enough that we can straighten it here. Okay, that looks better. Okay. All right, let's uh, recompose and uh, do the other one. 
and uh, yeah back to uh, the surprise that's coming in the mail I'm guessing uh, about 10 days from now all being well so uh, okay let me recompose here a little bit I may not be perfectly in focus for this one okay we are pinpoint focused on this furthest one from you now All right, <clears throat> I'm going to take a chance here and I'm going to try something that I've been wondering about and that is what if I was to take a little bit of extra thin, just a little bit and put it on the end here to soften it, like that, then maybe this would meld into place better. Just a thought. Okay, now... Does that look straight? Just let me go check my comments. Of course, you know I'm kidding. Okay, well, we'll check that in about 15 minutes. Okay, probably about five minutes or so has passed here, but I don't want to put any stress on this yet. But uh, we have to get some photo etch here. We need two pieces called C21 and one piece called A9. And I guess that is to form a, uh, a pulley at the top right here. Now these two tabs here, I already got them. That's okay, I know where it went. Now this is where Tony's waxed pencil really excels. Okay, I've got the camera swung around the other side now and as long as we got the macro lens on, let's uh, peel our tape back here so I can flip that up. And this one's crooked too. Just very carefully here. Trying to hold it up with one tweezer and squeeze with the other. Okay, so let me check the monitor. Maybe just a smidgen more. That's going to have to do. Okay, we need A9, and uh, that's this one right here. It's not 12. 12 is this right here. And it's this little part here that's only held on by one tab. Now this is the first piece we've gotten off of the A sheet. The reason I know that is because in order to get to this, this piece, I had to remove the plastic off of the one side here. It's still on the other side. There we go, and it didn't go pinging off into oblivion. Try and say oblivion fast ten times. Probably end up having to stand in the corner with a bar of soap in your mouth. Okay. And once again, Tony to the rescue here. Don't know if you heard that, but I did. Okay, I'm guessing about an hour or more has passed here now. 
And when I was editing out those last few clips, I was noticing that when I put the the uh, the extra thin on this piece right here, it wicked its way along the the waxed paper, and I noticed it kind of dissolved the plastic there. Let's see if I can just turn this over very carefully here. Yeah, okay. You can you can see it's kind of kind of built up here, right along there. Now you only see that with a macro lens. Now I don't know if I can remove that or am I only gonna make it worse? Maybe by trying to do it on camera is not a good idea. I might be better off picking it up and just, just trying to sand it. I think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to pick it up and uh, hold it up close to my face so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, then I'll, I'll show it to you after. Okay, it is some better. Yeah, it, it is some better. See if we can turn it over here. Come on. Yeah, this is where this is where it was. You can still sort of see it, but I mean, you you gotta you gotta look really really close. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, quit while we're ahead here. Now, I don't know if I feel like tackling this this evening or not. It's it's 8 o'clock already. And uh, okay, the idea is that this goes in the middle. And then one and then it's sandwiched between these two larger ones. And uh uh, this is going to, you know, I'm, just hang on a second. How would it be we stuck a pin? I'm trying to hold on to it here. Okay, if this would go on here, or is the pin too big? Might have to, oh no, it might work, it might work. Okay. One, <laughs> maybe if I was to hold the pin vertically so that the point was straight up and then drop the pieces down on it. Just let me reposition everything. I'll get the helping hands going here. Okay, I had to have a bit of a neutral background there, otherwise the auto exposure was was way off. Okay, a big one. Small one. And a big one. Now, yeah, now the trick will be to apply just a very, very small amount of uh, CA, just enough to get those to, to all glue together and then pull the pin out of it. Um, but you know what, I think I'm going to leave that for the morning. So we'll see you in the morning. I was getting myself all ready to shut down here, and then I thought, you know what, I've got to show perspective here. I've just got to show perspective. Okay, it is morning. 
and now is the time that we're going to have to glue these together. And uh, I'm going to use the Bob Smith Industries Extra Thin Instacure. Um, what do they call it? Super, super thin. So uh, now if, if I was to try and apply it by using the applicator here that's attached to the bottle, I, I would probably flood on way too much, way more than I need. All I want to do is just basically hold these three parts together so that when we try to put it into the uh, into that uh, plastic part, uh, you know, it's gonna it's not gonna fall apart on me. Now I know that there there is the where, where is that thing anyway? Here it is. Okay, very carefully now here, very carefully. All right, let me. Uh, okay, <clears throat> now hopefully you can see that there is sort of like a, a little axle or whatever you want to call it that would hold those those pieces together however uh, if I was to try and put put the three pieces in not glued together I think it would just be a real exercise in frustration and I've had enough of that already uh, <laughs> so, you know uh, trying to get these pieces on so um, <clears throat> Let's recompose here, and I guess I'll use a, a needle or something uh, as an applicator to, to try and put just a very minute amount on here. All right, enough poking at it already. Okay, I don't have anything on my applicator yet, but you can see here that, that when we move this, this thing around a little bit, it can get twisted out of shape, so I want to try and keep it so that it is it's uh, horizontally, you might say, or at right angles to the to the needle. All right, let's uh, put a couple of drops of Instacure in here now. That was three. Now this Instacure sets up really fast. So let's see what's going to happen here now. I just want it to wick down the, the needle and try not to try not to get the am I getting it? it's hard to tell I believe I did ok I did that time Okay, let's let's quit now while well, the quitting's good. Okay, if I can keep this over the black dot, it should be in focus. Now, is this going to fall apart on me when I try to pull that off of there? Uh, glued itself to the needle pretty good, didn't it? I'm going to give it a little bit of force here. Oh my, I wasn't expecting that. I might have to sort of twist it off. I'm going to pair of pliers. Maybe what I should be doing is holding it with these with these rubber things like this. And okay, can you still see it there? Um, it's got a better better grab on it. Okay, now squeeze hard. Whoops. Now kind of work on it and pull it, pull, pull it up. I'm pulling really hard and it's not coming. Um, okay, now if I get another pair of pliers on there, can I just sort of twist on it? Well, 
How about that? Well, that that uh, Bob Smith Industries crazy glue is holding on there real crazily, isn't it? Okay. Um, I, I thought I was going to be able to just sort of pull it off and Okay, I'm going to have to do this off camera. Now, it is raining really hard out there. A few minutes ago, it was raining even harder. Okay, I know that often I'll say, I'm going to have to do this off camera. And then the next scene, it shows me actually doing it on camera. Well, what happens is I, I start off with really good intentions, like I'm not going to show make you have to watch this. And then I think, well, you know, maybe maybe I could do it on camera. What I need is a little anvil. And I thought of this this clamp on vice here. And I, I thought it had a flat piece on, on the on the top here that you could, you know, pound down on. And I thought, well there's there's this this flat area right here, that's kind of flat. But it's not really in line with I might want something harder someday, something stronger. And that way the force goes directly through this way in a straight line down onto the table, which is actually quite solid. So I thought, well, that's this. Okay, unfortunately this is kind of rounded, and if I wanted to, you know, pound something on here, it, it would have the tendency to possibly slip off one way or the other. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment here. But I'm just going to make a little flat spot here with my file. Doesn't have to be very big. Yeah, it looks... I think that's pretty flat. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. Okay, now, what I'm thinking is, if I was to put the pin down on here, and then then run my tweezers down, if I could get a little bit more pressure on it, I think this just might work. It fell apart. It fell apart. I've got to do it all again. Well, you know what? I will do this off camera. I'll fix this up off camera. I don't want to... Uh, it's, it's not fair for me to make you have to watch this being done again. Okay, I got it. And the way I got it was I glued it back together on the needle the way we had it before. And then I just used these pliers here and, and I just slipped them down and shoved it off very carefully and well I, I actually sort of tapped it to be truthful very carefully now okay I often put my finger in the field of view because uh, every once in a while I'll get a comment that goes something like this and uh, Ron if you would set that thing on the floor you could stand on it with both feet then you could get your hands around the shaft and pull the shaft out of the part. Okay, um, so I just want to give you perspective as to why sometimes these things aren't so easy. Now you will see here where the uh, CA has has built up on the. That's okay. It didn't it didn't fall on the floor. The CA has has built up on the to form like a little axle sticking out of the, each each one of these things. It kind of... Oh, Ron. It, it kind of looks like one of those wheels that the cartoon characters from BC used to ride on. You know, with the axle sticking out of each side. Okay, I'm going to drop this on the floor yet. Okay, and enough fooling around here. Come on, it just doesn't want to stand there. Well, I guess it's rolling off, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, it's rolling off. 
I, I do have this slightly sloped towards you so that uh, you can see the, the top part of it. Otherwise, the lens is pretty much horizontal with the plane here. Uh, anyway, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now this is too wide to, f to fit in here. So I've got to try and get rid of that little protrusion that's on both sides here. And I'm just wondering, am I able to shave this off without breaking, whoops, move it back in the center there, without breaking this apart. I don't know. Just go very slow. This CA is, is very hard. If I can get it to tilt so that you can see what's happening. I don't know if I can. Let's try it in this direction then. We sort of got it, didn't we? Okay, I think this side is okay. Let's turn it over. You, <laughs> once again, you, oh, I got it stuck on there. Uh, once again, you can see better than I can. Okay. I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it. Well, we got both sides. Yeah, let's get this piece of junk out of there. Now, whoops. I should check the monitor. Am I even looking at it? Uh, sort of. Okay. Try and force it in there now. If I could get it to stand up on its edge, like that, and then go like this. Maybe if I was to come straight down on it. I wonder how long this video is getting to be anyway. I know I've had the thing on record for an awful long time. Trying to get it. Maybe <clears throat> I could use the hobby knife here and just lay it against the table to steady it. Turn it like this. We almost got it. We almost got it. Why won't it? Well, this will spread apart, won't it? Or is it stuck together? Well, it's. Oh, oh I think I, I think I broke off one of the little axle things that is on the plastic. This is even driving me crazy, and I'm having the fun of doing it. Can imagine how the viewers feel. It just doesn't want to. I wonder if I was to go like this, spread it apart. You know what? I'm I'm afraid I'm going to have to do this off camera. It is just too awkward to try and do this. It's just too awkward. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it off camera. Okay, as you can see, I got it, and I'm gonna quit playing at it until, because I'm gonna end up wrecking it. But if you remember, before I was trying to bring it in from the from the front here or the top, you might say. But what I did was I came in from from this side and sort of wedged it wedged it in this way, and it, it went quite a bit better. All right.
I think we beat this to death. And that does it for step 19. Now, step 20. But I think we're going to have to leave step 20 for uh, till tomorrow. So, uh, uh, thanks for watching everybody. And uh, all being well, we will see you tomorrow. I just got to play with it. Okay, Ron, leave it alone. You're gonna, you're gonna end up knocking it out of there. I can't help myself. Yeah, it works. So I pull my camera off of the stand and I'm headed back to the computer room and I'm gonna do the final edit. And all of a sudden it hits me when I'm halfway there. <laughs>